Well, good day, Max here again, and welcome back to the shop. So, this week we'll hook into our lathe tail stock chuck build. So, let's get into it. So what we'll do is we'll take a, we'll get the telescopic gauge now, and we'll take a measurement with the telescopic gauge and the micrometer so we can get this, uh, say, press fit on. Okay, let's have a bit of a measure up and see where we're heading. So the area on our boss where we need the interference fit, we've got... Um, 70.52 and of course we need our bore to be 0.05 smaller so we get the proper interference fit so um, 70.52 minus let's do this on the calculator it's easier in the metric system for me okay so we've got 70.52 minus point 70.47 that's what we want to bore our hole to and our current hole size imperial I can do in my head but the metric when it comes to doing this I find it safer to use the calculator okay our bore We're 69.6, uh, So if we put in our boss plus the um, crush deducted off it, that's 70.47 minus our measurement, what we've just taken here, which was 69.64. 0.64 that gives us uh, 0.83 millimeters to come out of the diameter we can divide that by 2 so it's just an well, an outfeed of 0.415 millimeters so we'll take another cut
Okay, we'll have a final measure and that should be on size. So 70.47 was what we're sort of looking for. And we are 70.42, 70.43, sorry. Nice, 44. We're 70.44, so uh, 0 0.03 to come out, which is only a thou. I think I'll just give that a, a quick one with a bit of emery paper um, when we've finished the rest of the machining and um, that will be a good press fit. Yep. Yep. Now that'll press in fine. Better to be too tight than too loose. So it's only a thou to polish out and it's all press and beautiful. So let's get set up with another tool and we have to do um, a weld prep on the front and uh, just a quick facing cut across the edge and then we'll take a bit off the OD.
Okay, that's our well prep done. Faced off, bored out. So what we'll do now is we'll uh, flip the part around the other way. And we'll get rid of um, this remaining material up the top. And then it's got to be faced off. The finish width is 18 millimetres and it's 25 millimetres at the moment. So we've got a few mil to face off. Uh, and then we'll press it together and weld it.
That's currently reading 70.5. So, and we're hot. So let's cool that down and take another measurement. So we're looking for 70.47 and we're 70.46 so we're only uh, three tenths undersized, so that's fine. It's well within what's required for a press fit for a uh, two, what are we, 0.05, so we're a two foul press fit. Okay, so we'll take it out. And We'll get our two pieces pressed together and then we'll get the weld sorted out. Well, that was the first run around and I forgot to bloody press record. I'm going to do another run around on top of that one, so <laughs> we'll try and remember this, side, um, this time. Now, you don't want to chip the uh, flux off straight away. Um, it can cause cracking on your weld, so you just want to leave it for a couple of secs before you clean it up. Hot. So low hydrogen um, rods, as like what we're using, it's really good when the flux comes off like that. But, um, these 16 TC rods um, are good for that.
Google Berries. Yeah, so we'll do one more run on top of that one. I'll just turn the amperage down a bit. Okay, we've dropped it back to 70 amps now for our capping run. As it doesn't need the heat in this run, this final run. Okay, we've got a few layers of weld around that, so that's not going to go anywhere. We can stick that in the lathe now and machine away the ugliness and make it look sexy. Okay, we'll leave it on the welding brick. There's a lot of heat in that, and that will help retard the cooling. So I'll put a couple of gloves over it just to keep the draft out and we'll let that cool off naturally. <laughs> 